Fresh tomatoes off the vine, a pinch of sweet basil and juicy jam that tastes like summertime. Local food is taking over South Island farmers markets. But a good chunk of this fresh fare wouldn't be around if it wasn't for these guys. It's estimated that one third of the food we eat depends on these busy bees. Honeybees are critical to producing many crops, but because they're so small, they're often overlooked and underappreciated. It's not just the honey. Uh, you know, bees pollinate uh, a lot of crops and, uh, and a lot of wildflowers, and, uh, and they help the forest get back going. Brandon Schwartz is somewhat of a bee expert, though he'd probably tell you fellow beekeeper Bob Mitchell is the real expert. He's been working with them for more than 30 years. Together, they're keeping tabs on hundreds of thousands of bees. So the adult bee will chew its way out of the... Ones that are, well, kind of famous around here. Raspberries are my favorite, so I would have to go with the raspberry honey. It's absolutely fabulous. You probably recognize the bright labels, green, pink, orange, red and blue. Yes, Babe's Honey, a Vancouver Island institution, is on the shelves again on the South Island. And Brandon is the worker bee behind this revival. Well, it seemed like a, like a worthy cause. And, uh, you know, Babe's Honey's been around for a while. We've, we've worked there for a while. And, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it was the right thing to do. The 30-year-old Vancouver Island native worked at the original Babe's Honey Farm before the business went into receivership. But Brandon was there, along with a few others, to buy the bees, the equipment and the Babe's name. Now the bees and honey are back in business here at Gailey Farms in Saanich. Well, I actually knew Babe and Charlie. They've been out here to the farm many times. And um, to see um, these young guys, you know, want to take this on, um, you know, it's, it's a really big, big thing to take on for them and we're here to support them. Babes has five pallets of bees here at Gailey Farms and there are many more pallets throughout Saanich and the rest of the peninsula. Each pallet has six colonies and each colony has up to 80,000 bees. And I'm just gonna head this way because I'm getting a little bit nervous. After a while, uh, the stings don't bother you anymore. They, they still hurt a little bit when you get them, but then uh, it goes away pretty quick. This past year has been a lot of work for Brandon and his team of five. He says keeping the company and the quality going has been a huge undertaking, but says the Babe's name has helped a lot. Babe's Honey's been about bees and uh, and it'll continue to be that way for us. That's that's where we put all our time, that's where we put our efforts and that's and that's where it's going to continue to go. I think what needs what you need to keep the the institution or the company going is uh, just the will to get it done because uh, it is possible to make a living in commercial beekeeping, even here on Vancouver Island. And Rob Gailey says, as a landlord of sorts, it's a sweet deal for him. You know, I've got all these bees now in my fields, and they're so important for pollination, so important to keep really healthy plants and, you know, big berries. Right now, Babe's Honey is only for sale at Gailey Farms, but Brandon says he hopes one day to have it back on the shelves in local grocery stores. In Saanich, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.